Casey and her family should have been enjoying a Mother's Day barbecue last week, but instead they were blindsided with allegations of sexual abuse. You see, Casey says her daughter claimed that Grandpa Jimmy molested her. And she even gave specifics as to where the abuse took place. But Jimmy and his wife Lisa say there is no way their granddaughter was molested, especially not by him. Take a look. My granddaughter is accusing my husband Jimmy of touching her. Casey went home and she asked her if he had touched her in any way. She said no, and then she said that Peepaw had put his cookie on my cookie. Peepaw is my husband Jimmy. I told her, I said, no, Peepaw did not do this. So then we got Jimmy, which is Peepaw, to come into the room. And Casey had her tell Peepaw exactly what she told me. And Jimmy's like, no, that has never happened. I would, ne I would never do nothing like that. So then David comes in and he's real upset. And that's whenever he told us that Jimmy has to get a lie detector test. I think Casey had probably coached my grandbaby because she had her by herself and had an opportunity to talk to her. I need to find out the truth because I told my husband if he feels it, I have to leave. I can't be with him no more. And I don't want to leave my husband. Uh, Casey, that's your mother-in-law on the tape. What's going on? Okay, well, like you said, on Mother's Day, we should be having a good day. Well, my daughter said, oh, mommy, I have something that I need to tell you in your ear. I said, okay. So I put my ear down there to her. And she said, mommy, people wants to keep this a secret, but he put his cookie on my cookie. And I said, what do you mean he put his cookie on your cookie? Are you, is it a cookie that you eat or is it your cookie? Because that's what we consider that, that area. And she told me, she said, no, mommy, it was this cookie. So I immediately took her to the source, which is Jimmy and Lisa. Okay, I wanted them to hear it for themselves that she had said this. So whenever I got there, I immediately told Lisa to go into her bedroom. It was just me, her, and my daughter. And my daughter told her the same thing she told me. And we asked her again, was it a cookie that you eat or is it a cookie, your cookie? And she said it was her cookie again. And that's when Jimmy had walked in the door and said, what the heck is going on? I had her repeat it again, and she said the same thing in front of everybody, as she told me. And so my husband had came down at that time and told Jimmy that he has to take a lie detector test. So as soon as they all agreed to take a lie detector test or whatever, I immediately called y'all. I have to have answers from my daughter. How long have you known Jimmy? I have been knowing him since I was four or five years old. His mother had passed away whenever he was younger, and so my dad, my dad took him in and um, offered to raise him the rest of the way. And I consider him as my brother because we are, we're really close. Right, and you were raised in the same house. Yes, yes. And I wouldn't, I just would never think And then that he married your mom? My husband's mom. Oh, okay. So, but I mean, isn't that kind of odd that the guy yeah. that you're going, ends up being your father-in-law? It's okay though. He's he's a good man to yeah. me. Yeah. So that's what. And so you just said that. Do you think it's possible that he didn't do this? I really don't think he did. But I mean, I have to believe my daughter. I mean, my daughter would not just make something like that up, and especially saying where it happened at. Now you took a lie detector test to prove that you didn't coach your daughter. I sure did. Well, why'd you do that? Because I don't want anybody saying, oh, well, she told her daughter to say this even But, I mean, if you, why would you coach against somebody that you have a very close relationship? Yeah, exactly. Casey, why? 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 Why would you do this to my daughter? You I would never do you that. You told You know, I would never hurt her. She told everybody. She's like, she's like a love to me. It's like, it's like all my kids. My daughter said it three or four different times, the same story. It don't matter, Casey. I didn't never I do don't it. Care. I raised I you when I was believe, five years old. I have to believe my daughter. I would never touch anybody like that. I don't want to believe I, you did it. I well, raised you pretty much. Your husband, David, he's here. Let's bring David out. Look, 
All this going on, bro. My daughter comes and says it three times. Yeah. How are you going to call a four-year-old a, a liar? I mean, how are you going to do that? And besides, y'all have the wrong idea of even thinking it's her uh, coaching our daughter when I'm the one that's always getting in your face, calling you lazy, drunk, and everything else. How yeah, y'all even going to think it's her? you don't want me her? to be with your mama. No, I don't want a drunk, lazy person with my mama. But guess what? It happened. My mom has feelings for you, and I don't want to have her, her heart I got broken back again. Problems. What else but you want me to do? My daughter came to us Are you a drunk? and said three no, times. I drank, but I ain't no drunk. Do you believe in your heart that he molested your daughter? I don't. I, I, I do and I don't. It's really hard because I've known this man for a long time, and I've never seen him do anything like that around a kid or to a kid. How in the world could you even sit back there and say uh, that you think that he probably did it? I love this man, and I'd be damned did I if say, I'm going to let anybody second, come no. in between did us. I say, get back. Did I you say that I thought he did? Yes. No. David, you No, I did not. You so really, it sounds like nobody really believes that Jimmy did it, but it's a possibility. Yes. Yes. There yes. is a possibility, but I am pulled in the middle, okay? Of course. I mean, I'm never home. I'm never home at all. But do you find it a little strange that Jimmy's the one giving your daughter a bath. Yeah. And I didn't even but know that happened. He, but he hasn't. That's the thing. He just stood on the stage and said he did it. I, mean, I don't even bathe my own girls because I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want this to happen to me. Yeah. I mean, isn't it a little weird that no, nobody knew that he was giving her a bath? I didn't know. I didn't. I don't know the result. Turn. Hey. Everybody says Jimmy's a great guy. Maybe he didn't do it. I want to answer. We that. pray. We just pray to God. But the bath story almost sounds like, well, if I fill, that's when I gave her a bath. Casey took a lie detector test, and we asked her, "Did you coach your daughter to say Jimmy sexually molested her?" She answered, "No." Are you fabricating the story that Jimmy sexually molested your eldest daughter? She answered, "No." The results came back the same to each question. They came back that Casey told the truth. Oh. Jimmy came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked him, did you ever have physical contact with your four-year-old granddaughter for your own sexual pleasure? He answered, no. Did you ever do anything sexual to your four-year-old granddaughter? He answered, no. The results came back to send each question, and it came back that Jimmy did not tell the truth. <laughs> now, to either pass this test, you have to have a uh, plus four, or you have to have a minus four to fail. Jimmy had a minus 24. I know there's sick, sick guys in the world, and you're one of them. It's not going to be easy for you in jail. And let me tell you something. Don't, don't fool yourself right now standing on that stage thinking you're not going to jail, because look at everything that happened here. One, this is a little girl who's adamant about her story. Two, the mother passes that this ain't being faked. The girl has basically pointed you out in a lineup in her own house. This is the guy that did it, okay? <laughs> Little girl's not making up the story like that. And you bust out yourself. Oh yeah, I give her best that nobody knows that I'm giving her best. And you know, some of these guys, they worked in the prison system here in the state of Connecticut. I'm sure they can tell you, nobody likes a child molester. Well, you know what? Y'all you know what? If y'all got anything to do with the police, take his ass now. Okay. Take his ass now. I don't, I don't want no words about my babies. Feel. This is your husband. It's over. He violated your it's granddad. It's over. It's over. Your present from the show is about 15 to 20 years in prison. Thank you for being a participant oh in our God. show. Get the hell off my stage. <laughs> get justice for your daughter. I hope that you'll update us and let us know when he gets arrested, what happens to him in court, because we would definitely like to know that and let the, our viewers know what happened with the show.